Okay, I can't remember where I got to yesterday. Um, this is the next morning. Uh, I think I showed you it fully sanded. And then I haven't got any primer. And the intention of painting this whole thing is that I won't need primer because of the paint I'm using, graffiti paint. Basically it sticks to anything, it's thick, it covers. It shouldn't need primer. So this is a color that I was playing with and decided against. I mean, you can't really make it out. It's a green, that's it, it's a bit better. Um, I've decided on one of my other options. Well, this was close, a close contender. So I'll just use the rest of the can up ahead of that, just to see what this comes out like with paint. All the fillers and everything are in order, so we'll get on. That'll be happening soon, but yeah, just no different really. Obviously, this is the uh, the bad side. bit like that hopefully it's easy enough to fix weird stuff down here little hole there Got some stuff down the bottom but yeah it's basically ready for filling filling sanding and putting the right colour on, which is coming as well. All right, some filler has come. It's a little bit large, but it's the only size they do in this one, which is kind of medium, not for big thick holes and not for little tiny holes. So I think it's perfect for what I need. Don't know why I'm waving this around. I'm going to show you how bomb proof my head is now that I've got the lockdown helmet on. So if I fall over, don't worry about me. I'm safe. Anyway, let's mix some of this up and uh, hit some of this. Lovely. So the number one mistake I've always made with filler is mixing it on cardboard or wood and obviously I've been doing my research to make sure I do things right or better and they say plastic or metal because wood and cardboard likes to eat all the moisturizer moisture out of it hence why it dries so quick you can never actually get time to put it on so done things a little bit better a mess all you body shoppers out there like oh my god what's he done but it still comes out with the same result so and let's be frank there's probably 80% of the bonnet with some sort of dink in it so it seems to be it goes on quite smooth I think it dries quite quick because as we come to the bottom here, I was getting all these bits like flaky dry bits. So I just slapped it on before it dried just to get it used. Maybe I won't mix up so much next time. But uh, I'm gonna let that dry, give it a rub down, see what it's like. And then uh, I know how to attack the other side, which is uh, grinder butcher side. Still got some to get on here, because I ran out, but um, 
I'll do that after. It's a top tip. When you're making a video, what you should do is press the record button on a phone. Never mind. I've uh, done a large amount of sanding, which has been harder than planned through no fault of my own for spraying the green paint on it, which is, what's going on with the picture? Uh, graffiti paint, which basically just clogs into lumps when you sand it. Uh, like that. Look at that one. So, it's been a joy. Uh, I haven't done it all yet, as you can tell. But this top bit, it's quite nice. Um, I'm waiting on a, it's called filler primer. So I'm guessing a kind of high build primer so that I can go over it on that. So we've got, can you not see anything? The swells off the sander. Uh, I still need sanding down a bit there. But you can, can you make out that stuff there and that it's still where the paint's clogged up and it's stuck to itself so i've got some more sand in to try and get that off um i did go a bit mad and throw some more on that side but i haven't touched that probably not going to today but overall it is looking better it is taking its time, but it's going in the right direction. So, um, yeah, I'll probably call it a day now, but I'll be back sanding, back filling, and then that primer should be here tomorrow. So I'll have a little go and see how well it fills little marks, and then give it a nice sand and see what I'm left with. So hopefully you can hear me, because it's the hottest day of 2021 so far, so there's about 46 lawnmowers flying around, trampolines going, kids screaming, but I don't know when it's going to be quiet, so here I am. Um, gone a little bit further than the last little clip, because I got a little bit carried away, so just going to show you what's happened. I've had a major haul of Gazebo Auto Works. So, show you the bonnet and the front end now. And the new little setup, really. Okay, so it's, uh, it's yellow again. Yeah, I'm not keeping the color. I bought a primer which said filler primer. So I assumed it would get all these little bits out but I'm not sure it's done anything I've got to sand it back yet so we'll find out I've still got some bits to fill I just painted it to see where I was at um, probably said before that I didn't plan to use primer because the paint I'm using will stick to anything and it fills anything anyway but I don't know if it fills them bits I might have to test it but it's a uh, it's a bit hard to sand back if it doesn't work. But anyway, I have, these are the holes where the emblems would go. They're gone. Because I'm going for a whole smooth look, which we'll see in a minute. Um, needs a bit of attention, but that's where some rubber bonnet catch things were. All the other holes are still here. But it is a lot better, there's no, no grinder butchery left, as uh, you might remember. There's still some bits I've got to get, but this thing was never supposed to be perfect and I've already gone too far. So it hasn't changed that much. Still got the same table. The uh, old gazebo storage facility tucked in the corner. But like this, it's just a shelf, not to me gone from having all of that scattered over my table and scattered over that scattered down there to there 
That is what we want. All lined up. Got some of the colour. Look at these little giggles. Ordered some uh, clear to see what it was like. Didn't read that it was 150 mil can, did I? And it's not the one I want. But um, never mind. Bit of sand in shelf. Grinding, filling, paint dissolver, power. Hoover's still nice and close and ready. Safety. Yeah, just ready to go. So, on with a little bit today. I think I'm sanding these down, adding some filler, and possibly going to take the doors off so that I can start them. But, uh, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, it's been a little while. It's actually been a week since the last little clip. Uh, in and out of playing around with the bonnet because I've been playing with all the other bits too. Um, doors and the whole front end. But this is where it's a very, very happy place. Apart from these, which is, uh, basically I filled them without putting anything behind it and they poked out as as you should expect, but now they've got fiberglass behind them. I've refilled them once. I'm gonna do it again just to get the little bits, but I've now got a box full of gray primer, which means I might actually be able to see what I've missed because I can't see anything on this yellow stuff. Uh, so then once I've put that on, I'll find find what bits I've missed and then I know the bits that I need to put more filler in anyway um, yeah and touch it up and then hopefully it'll actually be ready for paint 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 for once real paint so um, I'm gonna prime quite a few bits today but this bits about the bonnet so let's uh, do that bit So, not gonna lie, it's been probably two weeks since that little clip of primer went on. Um, not because I haven't been doing anything, because I've probably primed it three times, filled it, sanded it, primed it, primed it, primed it. That's what it feels like. Um, yeah, me and the bonnet don't get on at all. So I'd rather just put it in the bin. But, um, it's now getting left where it is. I'm pretty happy with it. It's never gonna be perfect and I could do with a metal one if I'm honest. But um, yeah, I'll show you now. So there it is. It's wet because I've just washed it. Um, so you can see where I've sanded again. I'm not gonna go over with primer again because this thing's cost about 55 million quid. I've put about seven or eight tins of primer on it now, which is stupid. So I'm not doing it again, but I've got to where I needed to get to. Uh, everything is smooth. There's, there was just a lot of little lines appearing and holes along here where I've actually gone back to fiberglass. But um, yeah. Some of it was my own fault because I kept sanding it with the sand up and getting so many of them, even in the primer. Whereas now I've been doing it with paper, not the sander. After doing some educating myself, 
and hopefully, I mean, it's very smooth. And just so you know what I've done in that way. Basically, from filler, gone over it with 120 grit, then 240 grit, and then wet and dried with 600, which after a lot of research, that's where I come to. So hopefully, she's ready for colour. But however tempted I am, I'm not supposed to be doing that because I have the actual fuck to do to get to this stage. But because me and the bonnet don't go on, I do kind of want to see it in colour. I feel like it'll be the first bit. But we'll see. Plenty more to do. Maybe that bit over there. Woo. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. So it's enough of the bonnet. Let's uh, give you guys something else to watch. No idea what. It's probably going to involve sounding and filling though. My bad. Stay tuned.